Good day to you, wrestling fans, and welcome to another edition of NWA's Smoky Mountain Television. I'm your host, Matt Rhodes, joined by Cowboy Jack. He's Sneed for today's program, and we have a big one, ladies and gentlemen, for you at home. Tonight is a big event coming to Rogersville, Tennessee. It's the sixth annual Memorial Bash with a big six-man tag team main event, ladies and gentlemen. As we've seen some changes made to that match this week, announced uh, earlier this week on the PWF website, some changes have been made. Uh, GQ Flawless is out of the match, ladies and gentlemen, at a Memorial Bash tonight. He has elected to cash in his uh, number one contender spot for the Southeastern Television Championship, Heath, and he'll be facing off against Mountain Goat Jack tonight. Now, we have learned here at the NWA Smoky Mountain offices that high-risk Robbie Cassidy will be his replacement tonight in the big six-man tag as the Illuminati faces off against the exception Josh Crawford, Johnny Knievel, and Big Daddy Freddy. That is your six-man tag team main event tonight for the Memorial Bash, Rogersville, Tennessee's National Guard Armory, 108 Frontage Road event gets kicked off at 8 o'clock, but that's not all the action you'll see as the heavyweight title will be on the line in a ladder match. Heath. Definitely. A few weeks ago, we saw Rain Rodriguez take on Daniel Mulligan for that PWF heavyweight title back at King Sports Civic Auditorium. Great match, but Rain Rodriguez couldn't pull it off. Tonight, it's a ladder match. Rain Rodriguez... Daniel Mulligan, one more time in Rogersville. That one's going to tear the house down. You don't want to miss it tonight, Rogersville, Tennessee. But I tell you what, let's go back a couple weeks and take a look at the footage from that match of Rain Rodriguez and Daniel Mulligan, and let's see how that ended up. PWF champion. Also check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash NWS Smoky Mountain. And also follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash NWA Smoky Wrestling fans, we have some big events coming up through the month of May and also in the June, ladies and gentlemen, and a big event that's coming up on June 30th in King Sports. Yep, June 30th, King Sports Civic Auditorium, it's War Games. The Cage of Death is coming. Two rings side by side, surrounded by a cage, one by a steel cage, the other by a barbed wire cage. There's probably going to be a roof on that thing. There will be bloodshed. June 30th, King Sports Civic Auditorium, mark your calendar for that one. War Games 2012. That's a big one, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up on uh, Friday night, uh, June 15th, Johnson City, Tennessee's Legion Street Park and Rec Center. Stars of Wrestling is presenting a huge card of wrestling action back in Johnson City, featuring a big main event, ladies and gentlemen, as Matt Hardy, former WWE and TNA superstar, coming back to the area for the first time in many, many years, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to be in Johnson City on June the 15th in the main event of the Stars of Wrestling event there as he's going to team up with Big Pimp James to take on Cutthroat Josh Cody and Alex Payne plus a lot more ladies and gentlemen slated for that big card that is Friday night June 15th 
Johnson City's Legion Street Park and Rec Center, 8 o'clock bell time. Fans, more information coming on that in the coming weeks. And I'll tell you what, the night before, June 14th, NWA Smoky Mountain announced it. Last week, big breaking news into the office. Davey Richards has signed his name on the dotted line to be in NWA Smoky Mountain ring. And we have all the information posted right now on our website. And we encourage you to go look right now at NWASmokyMountain.com. The venue, the bell time, all the matches list. They're on the website right now, nwasmokymountain.com. So check that out for further information. We're running short on time, but some big events coming for PWF in June as well. Yeah. PWF comes back to Rogersville at the National Guard Armory for a huge night of wrestling action. Also, June the 1st, PWF comes to Elizabeth to Tennessee for their TV tapings. Not all the matches that night will make it to TV, so to see it all, you got to be there. But also that night, Big Daddy Freddy's calling out any member of the Illuminati in a street fight, as well as Chase Owens taking on Daniel Mulligan. Be there, Elizabeth in Tennessee, VFW, right down the road from Grindstaff Ford, June the 1st. Tell you what, that is a big event. Well, we got a big event coming up one week from tonight, ladies and gentlemen, in uh, Maryville, Tennessee, for Kapow, right outside of Knoxville, just a few miles away from Neyland Stadium in Knoxville, Tennessee. It's a big night, ladies and gentlemen. Davey Richards is on the card. Chase Owens, Sigmund, they're all going to be in the same ring with each other, plus a lot of your NWA Smoky Mountain favorites. The Illuminati is going to be there at Kapow Wrestling. They're doing things right in Knoxville. Finally, bringing some legitimacy back to wrestling in the Knoxville area is Kapow, and they will be presenting a great night of wrestling action one week from tonight, ladies and gentlemen, in Maryville, Tennessee at 8 o'clock bell time. But don't forget tonight, Rogersville, Tennessee, is the 6th annual Memorial Bash, the big main event we talked about earlier, 6-man tag. It's the Illuminati, Tony the Dragon Givens, Chris Richards, Robbie Cassidy against Josh Crawford, Johnny Knievel, Big Daddy Freddy. We'll also see Daniel Mulligan versus Rain Rodriguez, heavyweight title in a ladder match, plus the Southeastern Television Championship on the line, Mountain Goat Jack versus G. Q. Flawless, plus a lot more, all your favorite stars of the Pro Wrestling Federation. Tonight in Rogersville. We're back in a moment. organizations, sports clubs, civic groups, schools, or anyone looking to raise funds for your organization. The stars of the National Wrestling Alliance are here to put money in your pocket. Bring us in for your next fundraiser and get the funds you need for your organization on the night of the event without wait. For more information, you can email the office at office at nwasmokymountain.com or you can call the office at area code 423 423- 773-5449. Heath, we know tonight that GQ Flawless will not be in the six-man tag main event in Rogersville at the uh, sixth annual Memorial Bash. It will indeed be uh, the disciple, Robbie Cassidy, as he likes to be called these days. He's, we've seen him revealed at the King Sports Civic Auditorium a couple of weeks ago. I tell you what, you know, there was a lot of buildup, a lot of speculation on who the disciple was. Was it who we thought it was? Was it somebody totally different? Well, we were de- definitely wrong on that one. Let's take a look at when the disciple, Robbie Cassidy, took on Johnny Knievel in Kingsport. And then after that, we'll take a look at the aftermath of the big four-way tag team unification match from a couple of weeks ago in Kingsport. Oh, definitely. And as odd as it sounds, I've actually been looking forward to this. Now, the disciple is here in Kingsport. And we get to figure out what he's back, why he's back, what the reason he is. Just like Harvey Schmidt now, nice exchange. Oh, man. Oh, wow. We see the mask come off momentarily. Oh, man. We nearly see the exchange. Whoa, what a lariat. Nearly taking Johnny's head off. Yeah. A big clubbing shot. The disciple is kicked off now. 
You know, Matt, didn't you, weren't you the one that said, big hop cross body. Johnny Toledo goes for cover one, two. Two counties. Weren't you the one that said that the disciple knew Johnny Knievel very well? Yeah. Yeah, he knows him very well. Oh, well, look down up and over goes Knievel to the apron. All before. Now Knievel goes to the side. Knievel, you can go to You know, not only is Johnny battling a mystery opponent in the Disciple, not only is he battling an opponent who knows a lot about him, he's battling two men on the outside of the ring as well. It's all tied with a spine buster by the Disciple in the ring. Slides down the stroke and counts at two. And Geneva kicks out. Geneva looking real good here. Distinct voice in the Disciple. Big round hand by the disciple as well. I believe the disciple said, I am the champion. And we've heard him say that many a times before. Irish Smith takes the clothesline off the far side. Oh, it could even. Whoa! Oh, my God. Wow. oh, my God. Face first to the outside. That, that could have almost been a disqualification had that been a little bit higher over the top rope. Yes. But nonetheless, the damage has been done. Ken Evil's body splatters on the outside. And you see Rob Knight and Kevin Draco backing off on the outside. You know, Matt, I, I'm not very familiar with, you know, the past of NWA Smoky Mountain or the CWA, but but I, I think I've seen that, you know, that taunting gesture before yeah. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it before. Many a time. The guy's going to maybe suplex him up and over. Johnny, look out! With ease and sight. Oh, man. Takes him down. Johnny's out here. Maybe open. One, two, the near fall. Yeah, he's going to be lucky if he can recover that big fall on the floor. Yeah, that was the turning point of this matchup. No doubt that Johnny can even be dangerous. This matchup being over with. And look out for the sight. That's in the crowd. Who's the champion now? Oh, there's a kick to the midsection, and all the disciples doing with his opponent. Lucky has done it many times in his career. Now the disciples get double banned. Means he's supposed to get weak. The disciple, what a right hand. Takes Knievel back down, and calling him to the corner to try to pull himself up. This matchup has been everything. It's been up, lived up to the hype so far. What a chop. Mm -hmm. You know, we've heard the saying, so the disciple says, so it shall be heard. I think everybody in a hundred mile radius heard those chops a few minutes ago. Yeah, they heard the chops around. And you know, I don't think I'm going too far to what we've seen in the ring so far. Very reminiscent of what we go here in these CWA days now in the U.S. Both men laid out in the center of the ring, Matt. Excellent contest so far, regardless of the mystery shouting this man. Back to a good wrestling contest. The controversy around who it is has pretty much overshadowed anything in this matchup. And you know, these guys are you know, really wrestling their tails off here. I think the disciple is uh, just looking to make an impact here. Look out, take him up, powerbomb coming. Oh, man! Johnny Ducks. Johnny runs the rope. Big close. And the disciples really lost the mask three or four times in this matchup. Much to the, uh, much to the appreciation of the Kingsport crowd here tonight. Yeah, Everybody wants to know who it is. They need the face. If you don't know who it is, you're an idiot. For a chance for a big suplex. And maybe Johnny K singing to the end, going to the top rope. Maybe a singing high up here. Look at how far away the disciple is from that top rope. 
Oh man, look out over halfway across the ring! And Gordon makes it! Hooks the leg! One, two, and a new ball! Disciple kicks out at nearly the last millisecond on that. And Johnny Knievel setting up for something big here. Look out. What's he setting up for? The disciple up to his feet very slowly. Oh, spaghetti legs is the disciple. Oh, playing chicken. Touch the clothesline. And the Gary. Looks like Johnny was going for the kill shot. The cover one, two, and the underfall. Looked like Johnny may have been going for that kill shot there, put Manny and opponent away with it. The disciple now saying it's over. It was nearly over, just like that, but it's up a kill shot by Knievel! Kill shot out of nowhere. I think it has. the announcement of this match for the Illuminati. It's easy pickings right now, Conley's hurt. You know, I, I expected the Illuminati to obviously not play by the rules, but GQ Flawless wasn't the guy running out here. I figured they'd have uh, the Disciple out here to take care of their dirty work. No, Jeff kicked out. The Disciple's still in the back, guys. The Disciple's still in the building, so I mean, don't count him out. But we don't need any more interference out here. Definitely not. Don't don't give me any ideas. Man. Josh Crawford is ready to doubt disappointed. But Jeff Connolly in the ring, and he's injured. Oh, and now the two, three of the four defending tag team champions left. Keith Knox, the CWA, NWA Smoky Mountain. Tag team champion and his partner Jeff Carter. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at the belts right here beside me. Right now, right now. Oh, go for a camel's clutch. Look at he's, he's, he's got him facing his partner too, playing mind games. Definitely with the challenge. Trying to get into that head of Keith Knox. Tony Givens is one to know what it takes. To flip that switch inside Keith Knox's head. He's done it a couple times before. Definitely good here tonight. Tony's toying with him right now. And it's almost Knox and Connolly versus Connolly, Tony Gibbons, and Chris Richards. The GQ Flawless and Rob Knight on the other corner. Oh, look at Jeff Connolly puts a boot. That was an intentional. No intention. But after some of the things that's going on in this match, let it go anyway. If Jeff Connolly can make the tag, this place is going to erupt. Do not. He's close. He's close. He's close. He's to Tony Gibbons, goes right into the corner on big Chris Richards. We see Knox take on two men before. Spice! Booyah! And what's this? 
There he is. Richards from behind. We knew he wouldn't stay silent this whole match. He's got, uh oh, Knox is along with the disciple. Oh, and he tags. Jeff Carley makes the blind tag. And now he's coming in on fire. Why don't you fight him off? Come on, Jeff. You gotta admire the heart of the specialist, Jeff Conley. Taking it right to the big man. Running it. He moves out of the way. Give us with the elbow. Conley's got the momentum. Here it is. With Conley's finisher. Can he make the cover? Rolls him over. One, two. Tony kicks out. Man alive, we've seen it in this match right now. Disciples out here. Gentlemen, I just want to point this out. We're watching history being made right before our eyes. Exactly. Right now, Conley's trying to catapult the superstar. And Tony gives him his neck break. And that could be back to square one with Conley's back. Look out. Time to go to sleep. For the Gibbons. Oh, he swings him down. Will that be enough? The disciple back up on the apron. And Conley. Oh, Tony reverses it, gets out of it. Oh, maybe he's going to put him in a lock here. There it is. He's got him. Now both, both, both partners. Big spear, big spear. A spear, big spear. Tony Gibbons is going to tap out. He gives up the eight. Jesus Christ, how much more interference are we going to see here? Tony's tapping out. Tony's tapping out. And the disciple just don't knock him left post here. At first, the disciple back up to his feet. Back into the ring. And the disciple in. Maybe the knockout blow. Conley looks like he's on Dream Street right now. Turns around, he's got him up. What? 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 What the hell? Oh my God. That's Robbie Cassidy. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners. Undisputed East Tennessee Tag Team Champions, the Illuminati! Now that the smoke has cleared, and myself and Chris Richards are the new NWA Tennessee Tag Team Champions. That's right, the NWA board had decided, since we are the PWF Tag Team Champions, since we are the NWA Smoky Mountain Tag Team Champions, they have decided to name us the NWA Tennessee Tag Team Champions, the first NWA Tennessee Tag Team Champions since 1977. And now, as strong as we are, as strong as we've been, which is stronger than ever, we're going to be even stronger because now we have Robbie Casty by our side. You see, I've known Robbie Casty now for nearly two decades, as has Chris Richards. That makes us unstoppable. You see, the difference between a lot of groups and stables and factions that you see in wrestling is that they are manufactured. The three of us together is destiny. We have a bond that can't be broken. And now... We've got GQ Flawless. You see, myself, Chris Richards, and Robbie Cassidy, the past decade, we were the best around here. GQ Flawless, he is the Illuminati prodigy. He is going to be the man that is going to take it to the next generation. He's the man with the billion-dollar look, the million-dollar body. Tonight in Rogersville, we will show everybody why we are the best. Because we've got a six-man tag team match. Myself, Robbie Casty, Chris Richards against Johnny Knievel, Big Daddy Freddie, and Josh Crawford. We're not strangers to them. These guys think they're tough. Let's tell the truth. All three of you in the past, this is a documented fact, all three of you have bought tickets to see us wrestle. Johnny Knievel, one time I remember you told me, that when you're 12 years old, you were in the ring getting a Polaroid with Tony Givens and Robbie Casty. Now, boy, you think that you can be in the ring with us and be our equals? No. 
You guys aren't our equals. We are better than you. And tonight we will prove it one more time. Because one by one in that elimination match, we will take you out until there is just one of you left. And that's going to be you, Josh Crawford. And when it's just you, oh, we're not going to make it easy. We're not going to make it fast. We are going to beat you until there is a you have just one breath left in your body. Then we're going to pin you. Simply because we don't want to go to jail. Because we want to save for later on. June 30th, Cage of Death. That's when we finish the job. But tonight, we get, we get it started. Tonight, we will show everybody why he who holds the power rules the world. We're back here on Smoky Mountain Television. I'm joined by a host of uh, Adrenaline Rush, which you'll see right here on this same network at 3 o'clock Eastern Time, Dylan Sizemore. And tonight in Rogersville is the 6th Annual Memorial Bash. We've been talking about it all day. A lot of big events leading into tonight's event, including that big main event. Oh, a huge main event. Six-man tag team elimination-style grudge match between the Illuminati comprised, like you've said earlier, Tony Givens, Chris Richards, and Robbie Cassidy taking on Josh Crawford, Johnny Knievel, and Big Daddy Freddy, six men that literally hate each other, and they're going to go in the ring to make sure the other team doesn't walk out of the ring. That's their goal tonight. Also, ladder match for the PWF Championship, Daniel Mulligan versus Rain Rodriguez. Both men know a lot about ladders. Both men are not afraid to fly. That's going to be a good one right there. GQ Flawless challenging Mountain Goat Jack for the television title. Cody Blade versus Chris Gray's in a contenders match for the television title on June 1st. And a champion, a former champions collide when Menace challenges Mike Blade. Huge card of action, also a body slam challenge, and a lot more. Huge card of action tonight in Rogersville. I mean, that pretty much says it all, and you get more information on that. Once again, Adrenaline Rush airs 3 p.m. right here on the CW4. Uh, I'll tell you what, and on the internet as well, it's a big day for Mountain Empire Wrestling tonight. Rogersville, Tennessee, and nobody does it like PWF at Rogersville. Last time, standing room only crowd for the big Lex Luger event. And tonight, well, I think be no different. I think it'll be a great crowd on hand to witness great wrestling action. We're about out of time here on the program. Dylan, thanks for joining us. He's Sneed. Thanks for being along as well. We'll see you back here next week, ladies and gentlemen, right back here on NWA Smoky Mountain TV. Same time, same place. So long for now. <laughs>